In old versions of Excel, if you wanted to join the values from several cells, you had to use either the ampersand operator or the concatenate function. Now there's a new function in Excel 2019 and Microsoft 365 called text join that makes this much easier. This is Deborah Dalgleish from Contextures.com. In the older versions of Excel, here's an example of a formula that would combine the five weekday names separated by a comma and a space, and I use the ampersand character. So I'd click on each cell and then ampersand, quote, comma, quote, and on and on for as many cells as I needed to combine. If you had more than a few cells, it was almost an impossible task. And now we have text join, so we'll look at how much easier that is now. Here's the same group of cells, and in this cell, I'm going to start with the text join function. The first thing is the delimiter that I want to use between the things that I'm joining. I'll put that in double quotes, and then a comma, close with the double quote, and then the next argument is ignore empty true or false. So if one of these cells doesn't have a weekday name, do I want an empty space separated by a comma or do I want it to skip that cell? So I'm going to say true and then comma for the next argument and that's the text. We have to have at least one text item in this formula. We could have more, there are options for lots more, but we want a range of cells A2 to A6 and then close the bracket and press enter. And there are the five day names separated by a comma. And over in this list, if I delete one of the day names, the formula result now just shows four days and there's no indication that there was an empty cell. If I go back into the formula and change this true to a false, now you can see a little gap here where Tuesday should be. So now that the formula has false, it's not ignoring that empty cell. The text join formula worked very well with the text here, with weekday names, but what will happen if we have dates in these cells instead of text? On this sheet, it's the same formula. We're joining the text in A2 to A6, but now we have dates here. So when I press enter, instead of showing the nicely formatted dates that we see in the cells, it's just showing the date serial numbers. That's really not too helpful. So instead of just combining what's in those cells, we're going to have to format the values. And to do that, we'll use the text function. So I clicked in front of the range of cells we're combining, and I'm going to type text and an open bracket. The text function is going to format values for us. The value that we want is whatever's in A2 to A6. And I'm going to put a comma after that. Then we tell it how we want the text formatted. And this goes inside double quotes. And to copy the format that we have here, we would use D hyphen MMM to get the day dash month. Double quote, a bracket to close the text function and press enter. And there we have the dates here formatted the same way that they are in the cells that we're joining. Thanks for watching this video. You can go to my website, contextures.com, to get this workbook. And please subscribe to my Contextures YouTube channel so you can see the latest videos as I post them.